Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about in this uh, short little burst is diversity. Um, so I've been at the archive for about 25 years, and I gotta say, there's a lot of white dudes here. Um, and the internet was kind of built by a lot of white dudes. Not entirely, but there's a lot of white dudes. Um, diversity is hard, um, but I believe very strongly it makes everyone and teams and ideas stronger. We get best of breed, we get things we didn't think about or expect, so I want to encourage you on Aaron Swartz Day to think about diversity and try to encourage it and get it to happen more wherever you're involved. The tech industry is a tough one right now. Um, I really started thinking about this a lot when Dana Boyd accepted her EFF Freedom Award. And the thing that really kind of gutted me, and I was crying a lot that week, I even cried at our Friday uh, open lunch, um, wasn't so much, you know, thinking about the women who have been physically abused or, or otherwise, because that's awful. But it was, it was thinking about, and I just quoted it here, it's just thinking about how many women have been lightly excluded or not invited to the game or invited to lunch or, you know, they're just not really our people or whatever. And it's, it could be women, it could be minorities, it could be someone who's queer, it doesn't really matter. Just someone who's a little different. When you're excluded like that, it, what really hurt is to think about how many women in this case, but just diverse people have been kind of not invited or subtly discouraged and I think we all need to work about the, work on that and think about it if you look at the rates I don't actually have the real numbers in my head but I believe I believe last time I read it it was very high the number of women who leave tech is staggering it's something like 60 or 80 percent or more my best friend um, from Cornell switched her major to become an electrical engineer she's really smart she was a coder then she was a manager and finally she's not doing it because it's just a tough industry. You have to kind of deal with kind of a, a male-designed industry with a lot of men. And it doesn't mean men are bad. Um, I work with lots of great men. Uh, my new team is 50% uh, white dudes, but it also means it's 50% not. So I'm actually really happy with that. And it turns out the people, the white guys in my team are incredibly great with diversity. So that's one of the reasons that I was excited to join their team. Um, and so I'll, I'm gonna close with something that we just um, saw on stage here at our archive annual. Um, Michael Barker, who's the librarian from Phillips Academy Andover, is a white dude. And he comes from a very privileged institution um, from the Boston area. My dad actually went here. It's a really, really nice bespoke school. And he did something really cool. He worked with Brewster and he got excited because they have an amazing book collection. And he decided with Brewster, to encouraged by Brewster's um, and what we do here, to make it all public and to, all, to put it all on the archive and digitize all of it. So, and he gave, a, he gave a nice quote, anybody that has any connection to an institution like mine, that comes with a certain amount of privilege. Nudge that privilege towards a public purpose. And I think that's the kind of thing that we need to do. If you have privilege, try to help other people who don't or have less. Um, and we will make the world a much better place. And maybe it'll be more about empower her. That's it. Okay. Thank you.